Thank God. I'll recognize myself for questions, and Mr. Homestead would like to direct the first one to you. And that is, would you, you've mentioned several examples, but would you just summarize the adverse consequences of this new ozone regulation? Well, the, the most immediate one is really that it, it, will, it will ban industrial growth in, in, in many parts of the country. That's not universally true but there will be many parts of the country where no matter how hard a local community wants to attract an, a new industry, it won't be able to do so okay. because they can't get the permits they need to build or expand a new industrial facility. The, 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 the longer term consequence <coughs> is that it, it really does um, drive up the costs of, of virtually everything we consume, right. not only energy, but other products as well. Okay, thank you, Mr. Homestead. Uh, Mr. Sodradin, you mentioned the San Joaquin Valley. Uh, does the technology exist today to actually enable that region to attain the standards that it needs to attain under the proposed rule? Uh, simple answer is no, but that is not um, limited to the new standard alone. As we speak, EPA has already uh, classified San Joaquin Valley as extreme non-attainment even for the 75 mm -hmm. parts per billion standard and the, the previous standards, uh, standard of 84 parts per billion. And extreme by definition means that technology today does not exist. Any um, idea when the technology might exist or is it just totally unknown? At this point, it's unknown. EPA, in their own you know, latest regulatory impact analysis, they talk about technology that does not exist, and they don't know when it would be available. And that is why we are urging the Congress to take that into account, make some fine-tuning of the Cleaner Act to allow that to be, to be considered in setting up the deadlines and what it takes, how long it takes to come into attainment. I, I know you're considering this, but I think you'll find the courts on your side, and it's going if the EPA... Uh, can't, uh, if you can't comply because the technology is not available, you can't be held accountable. So I, I hope you succeed in that regard. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Honeycutt, um, would you spend a little time um, explaining to us the single study uh, that the entire ozone regulation relies upon and why there are limitations to the science that were relied upon in that study? Uh, first of all, I can't believe we're just relying upon one study that clearly smacks of cherry picking, but if you'll go into some detail about the flaws in the one study and why only one study was used. Sure. Uh, it is based on, or the level of the standard is based on one study, the Schlegel 2009 study, where 31 people were exposed to, uh, to ozone at various levels uh, for 6.6 .6 hours, exercising uh, moderately to vigorously um, for 50 minutes out of every hour during that 6.6 .6 hours. And at the 72 part per billion exposure concentration, six of the 31 people had lung decrements, lung function decrements greater than 10%, which EPA considers adverse. The problem is the group mean was only 5.5%, a little over 5%. And the group mean wasn't adverse, but what EPA did was pick out the six that were. So they, they cherry picked those six people out of the group. And you're not supposed to do that. That's, that's not scientific. That's why the study authors didn't publish the journal article that way, because it wouldn't have been published. Because no, 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 nobody would accept that. Um, so that's what it's based on. I, if any other organization relied upon a single study involving six out of 31 people, it would be laughable. And uh, the fact that the EPA is going to subject uh, millions of people to an unworkable standard at great cost uh, because of that one flawed study is just amazing. And uh, so I agree with your conclusion. Uh, that uh, also concludes my comments. And we'll go now to the gentleman from Virginia. Do you want to recognize somebody else first? 